The doctor appointment went really well. I'm so relieved and really happy. Um, really, really liked her. She's knows she knows what she's talking about, which is really nice. Hmm. <laughs> oh. This. Ah, oh, yum. It's been so long since I've had this. Guys, this is so good. And I added orange this time for the first time. I've never added orange to it. And it's amazing with orange. Good morning guys, I am currently moving my stuff into the family room so that way I can do my computer and stuff in here. But it's a really nice day, it's a tunnel, lots of leaves, and it's like 52 degrees out. Here, so y'all. See? Nice and pretty. This is my time to out. And, um, here is, oh, I was showing you the ceiling. Here is awesome and just made me a bunch of coffee. And so I can drink that throughout the day. I don't make it because of my, um, dislocating ribs and caustic chondritis pain. It dislocates ribs and I'm going to make it so when Mama help me out with it. And so we have Dr. Who on, and here's her canteen some food, and she's going to get some sleep. She already got a little bit of sleep, but she needs more. And then I'll get Sue up in about an hour, 45 minutes. But I'm just going to chill for the next little while. Maybe see if I can breakfast, if I can remember that. I'm very bad at remembering things. Hannah reminded me so many times to wash my jeans last night, and I still never actually put them in the washing machine, even though I went to do it many times. So they're in the washing machine now, because she reminded me again. <laughs> So I'm going to do computer stuff probably for a bit, and try to remember to eat, and uh, it's a nice coming morning. Good morning guys. So, we pulled in last night, and sorry we didn't really film much more. It got really dark really fast, and um, we were really tired. So, we pulled in last night, and we visited with a friend who we've probably known since I was maybe 10 say so <laughs> that's a long time but we haven't seen her in years um because we've only been to arkansas um a few times since like my parents lived here when one of my oldest sisters was really young so we haven't been here in years and so basically we haven't seen her in a long time so we visited with her for a while for about an hour, I think. We had some tea and we visited, got to meet her kids and her cat, which was super cute. Her cat, Charlotte, was so sweet. And, um, I'm sure I packed, oh yeah, I know, one second. <laughs> I needed socks, sorry. Um, so we visited with her and then we popped on over to my aunt's house, which is where we're at now. And, um, my cousin and her husband were here, and I got to meet my cousin's daughter. She's about five weeks old now, which is hard to believe. I cannot believe it's already been five weeks. But, um, yeah, I got to meet her. She's super sweet. Um, we may or may not be babysitting. I don't know. I don't think we are, but we may be seeing them tonight. I'm not sure. Plans changed. Um, so, yeah. We're going to be leaving about 20 minutes or so for my doctor appointment. And right now, I am just getting ready for that. So yeah, I'm trying not to be too nervous about it, just because, yeah. <laughs> also, we're going to be going to Sam's after my doctor appointment because I forgot to pack my pants. I have, I mostly wear leggings these days because of my stomach pains. It hurts to wear pants, um, like real pants. I mostly wear leggings. Um, and I have this pair of jeggings. They're leggings that look like jeans, basically, that I got at Sam's Club. 
and they work really well for me. I wear them a lot, and they're the most real thing to jeans or real pants that I have. And I forgot them, and it's a bit difficult because it's cold here. And so, <laughs> yeah. So, ah, they're like the one thing. Oh, ah, okay, there they Well, I didn't. They're basically the one thing that I forgot on this trip, and I don't know what's going to do all the way. And so, yeah, I need to, we're going to grab me some for tomorrow because on the way, gosh, my camera spills. On the way home, we are going to stop by Hot Springs, and Mom and I are going to stop by there and look around. So, I need some pants for that. See ya. But that's about it. See you later. I'll see you guys. Oh. Forgot to mute the TV for you. I see if I can probably tell by the lighting. It's a dark and cloudy day. And it's actually been raining a little bit too. Just a little drizzle. But it's actually making me happy. Because it's making me imagine. It's helping me imagine I'm in Sweden. <laughs> but it's so nice and I just love this kind of weather and the rain's not making me feel terrible so I'm okay with it. I like rain as long as it doesn't make me feel terrible and it usually does make me feel terrible so I usually don't like it but I'm doing okay. And Sarah is over here. Her and I have been watching um, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works on Netflix. It's a really really good series. I've seen it so many times but at first she was like, I don't know if I'm going to watch this. But I put it on and she really quickly realized she likes it. It's the kind of thing she likes a lot because the kind of action there is. There's lots of visual stuff for her to enjoy. So she's enjoying that. And I'm also getting some hedgehog cuddles. I'm feeling thimble at the moment. And she's getting coffee. And I've been uploading the vlog. And I'm about to do some research um, and writing because... And yeah, it's quiet. You know, sleeping, and I'm just working on the computer. It's really, really relaxing with all the weather and anime and quiet. And <sighs> while I miss Mom and Caroline, I am enjoying the quiet more than I expected, just because I'm an introvert, and so having the quiet is the space is really nice. So I'm gonna go do my writing research and check back with you later. Hi guys, it's about 5.30 here and um, we just got back. The doctor appointment went really well. I'm so relieved and really happy. Um, really, really liked her. She's knows She knows what she's talking about, which is really nice about it, but she's just kind of easy to talk to. Um, we actually initially didn't go into just like an examination room. She actually took us into her office and sat down with us, um, and just talked about it. And, um, we went over my, my information and just my past tests and she asked a lot of questions about what's been done before and, um, talked about some of my other conditions and just how everything kind of works together and she was just trying to get a feel for everything. And um, she's brought up a lot of things that we've tried with my past doctors and they haven't really wanted to listen to those options. And so she's really good. She knows we're, we're kind of all on the same page, which is the nice thing. Um, so I'm really happy about that, really excited, really liked her right now. Um, she brought up a test option just because there is issue with just some tests. It's things are very back and forth right now. So kind of on paper, I think she's treating and talking about it like astroparesis. And I think she kind of wants to get the on paper definitive answer. So for the past year, I think they've been doing a study here in their office with the smart pill. And basically it's a pill that you swallow and it's kind of got like a monitor camera system and they just watch it go 
go through your system and it watches the bowel, the small bowels and intestines as well, and um, monitors their workings and how slow they are and as um, stuff. So, um, she wants to see if our insurance will take that, and so we're gonna have to wait on that a bit. And while we're waiting on that, and they're checking out insurance, she, I have an appointment with my allergist new cardiologist because I haven't been seeing one um really <laughs> so my cardiologist and my neurologist and she's gonna we're gonna have them fax my workups to her so that she can look over that information and I need to talk to my allergist about one of my meds because if I'm on if I do the test I can't take one of my meds while I'm on it so I need to see if he would feel comfortable with me going off of that, if it would be safe enough. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it went, it, I mean, not otherwise, but overall, it did, it went really well. We really liked her, and yeah, I'm really excited. Um, it went really well. Looks like we'll be coming up here to Little Rock more, which is fine and great. Um, we'd stay here with my aunt, and um... So yeah, it, it was good. It was nice, and um, my aunt actually came into the appointment with us, which was nice. Um, she got to hear everything. Um, and afterward, we went over to my cousin's house, and we visited with her for a few minutes, and we got to see her the little baby girl, Ella, who's only about five weeks old. And um, saw her last night, and got to see her again today, and she's very sweet. And yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> Um, we did drive around a bit and look at fall foliage and all the colors, and I got pictures, which will probably be up on my Instagram, but, yeah, it was a nice day, thankfully. It felt kind of slow and relaxing, but at the same time kind of long, just because it was a lot at the same time, but it was nice. We did go by Sam's, I forgot that. We went by Sam's because I did forget about my pants, but I told you a lot about her. But that's it. I'm talking for too long. I do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a good day. Things went well. I need food. I'm gonna go. Okay guys, so due to my fatty liver disease, this is the first dessert I'm having since June. And I can have it because it's dairy free, it's grain free, it's sugar free, it's artificial sweetener free, it's, <laughs> I don't even know what free anymore. <laughs> it's a little a lot of things. And it's my traditional chocolate cream pie recipe, which has a lot of fans in my family. Um, it, but this version is dairy free, sometimes I use it with whipped cream on top, because I'm using coconut cream. I'm go back and forth which one that I'm using depending on who I'm making it for. But I'm so excited because I've wanted this. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh. This ah oh, yum. It's been so long since I've had dessert, guys, so this is so good. And I added orange this time for the first time. I've never added orange to it, and it's amazing with orange. I wanted to make it for Halloween, but I was sick. 
but I made it now. <laughs> it's so good. I really need chocolate because it's 4 a.m. <laughs> Guys. Okay, I was checking to make sure it's all quiet because it keeps going off because the battery's dying. But yeah, it's 4 a.m. So I was having a hot time because she's upset that mom is still gone. So mom's coming back tomorrow. But Sarah's really upset about it, and so she's keeping me and Hannah up. And so, it's 4 a.m. I've been up for 18 hours now. Um, so actually, it's also a little over 18, almost 19 hours. But I made Daddy two loaves of bread. I made him waffles for dinner. I made myself a pie. I cleaned the kitchen. I've been helping with Sarah. I've made a lot of book progress. So it's been a good day. And... I'm not having my falling attacks, guys. I haven't mentioned this till now, but three days in a row, I've not had taken up. I've not had one of my falling attacks where my muscles stopped working. I really think my medicine's helping my my new medicine's helping my dysautonomia. So I'm managing even on the barely any sleep, and so hopefully since so I'll get to sleep so Hannah and I can sleep. But until then, Hannah will be camping out on her bed. Eating chocolate pie. I'll be eating chocolate pie. I'm just I am making her apple cider, seeing if I can find her some uh, for Enjoy Life chocolate in the cabinet, and we'll watch some TV together. And hopefully she'll so sleep soon, and hopefully we'll sleep soon. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm signing out for the night. Thank you for watching. Good night, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.